people of the internet, my name is Johnny, I just got done with some holiday shopping and it turns out Steel Wolf Studios had some holiday gifts for me. Because we finally got the official Steam and PlayStation pages for the upcoming FNAF VR Help Wanted 2. That releases in only one week's time on December the 14th. Brand new screenshots, brand new descriptions, and even a release time for the game we're all going to be talking about in today's video. So if you're excited for FNAF Help Wanted 2, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button because we will be playing the full game here on this channel. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of tough, very interesting mini games and endings and lore that you're definitely not going to want to miss out on. Now actually, before before we hop into the Steam page, there are a few other reveals for the upcoming game that I do want to touch upon. First off, in case you forgot, Help Wanted 2 is launching on Steam, of course on PC, as well as PlayStation VR 2 on December the 14th. But if you remember, actually one of the major ways to play the first Help Wanted game nowadays is to do it in non-VR mode, or as Steelwool calls it, flat mode. And a lot of people got to asking Steelwool, hey, I don't have a VR headset, but I also want to play this game, will you have flat mode available at launch? And Steelwool the other day responded in a tweet saying, FNAF Help Wanted 2 is launching in VR on PlayStation VR 2 and Steam on December 14th. Those who purchase the VR version will receive the flat version or flat mode for free once it launches in spring of 2024. So it's not an exact date or so it's not an exact date right now, but if you don't have a VR headset, but you still want to play Help Wanted 2, Spring 2024 is when it launches in non-VR. Also, over the past couple of days, Steelwall has been releasing posters featuring some of the minigames in Help Wanted 2. First up, as you can see, is Mystic Hippo, the minigame exclusive to the PSVR 2. In a recent PlayStation blog post, we got more details on Mystic Hippo's minigame, saying thanks to the PSVR 2's eye-tracking system, players will have their mind read by the fortune teller, Mystic Hippo, a minigame built exclusively for PlayStation 5 where players can challenge her ancient powers of perception. Pick a card, any card, and she'll peer through you to guess what it is. If you're also attuned with the supernatural, you can try and fool her, but I wouldn't hold your breath. She will also guide you through everything Help Wanted 2 has to offer. So that's going to be a pretty fascinating minigame. Like I also said, keep in mind this minigame, only Mystic Hippo, is going to be exclusive to PlayStation 5. So if you get the Steam version or any other version besides the PlayStation 5, you're not going to have Mystic Hippo. Steve will also put out a poster for the Azure Blast minigame in Help Wanted 2, with the caption shoot for the stars with a version of Freddy holding his gun, looking at a rocket blasting off into the sun. I didn't mean to rhyme there, but that was kind of fire. Anyways, that's all the additional news. Now let's move on to the Steam page. So this is the official Steam page. I'm gonna leave it linked down below if you want to go take a look for yourself. Of course, we've got the trailer. We've already taken a look at that. We've analyzed that in depth. But here we have a brand new screenshot for the Bonkabon level. We've seen gameplay of this level. It's pretty straightforward. Just like a game of whack-a-mole, Bon Bon, Bonnet, Helpy, and I'm pretty sure a plush baby as well, pop out from these holes, you gotta whack them with a mallet. If I remember correctly, there's three rounds, each level getting progressively more difficult, with more and more characters popping out of the holes. We also got a brand new look at the daycare attendant, and also, just like Bonkabon, we've seen plenty of gameplay of this carousel level featuring the moon. You've got wires and circuit boards and a whole bunch of technical puzzles you gotta fix while the moon is coming after you. Seems like there's three different rows on the carousel, and those also correlate to the phases of the moon, and as you're fixing Fixing up all the wires, the moon gets closer and closer as the carousel speeds up. You gotta turn around, turn on your flashlight, shine it at the moon, he goes meh, and then he goes away. This next screenshot features DJ Music Man and his level. We've seen a lot of him in the trailer, but the actual minigame gameplay we haven't seen a whole lot of. Of course, DJ Music Man himself is absolutely freaking massive. You can see we are inside of the West Arcade as it looks like in Security Breach. And in front of us, we get a very clear shot in this screenshot of the DJ booth, is what I'm assuming this is. Seems like whatever minigame game we have to perform. I'm assuming it's going to be some sort of like match the pattern or Friday Night Funkin' style minigame. There's going to be three rounds of it. We've got different buttons and levers and dials that we can press. We've got backbeat, synth track, as well as replay, and another one off to the right that I can't quite make out. Or maybe we have to make our own beat, and again, we have to follow the patterns as they appear on the screen in front of us. Maybe if we make a beat that DJ Music Man doesn't like, that's when he comes and attack us, but I don't know. It's certainly a very interesting, very terrifying screenshot of DJ Music Man. The next screenshot looks like it's in the Fazer Blast level, and don't worry, we're gonna talk about this guy in a second. But we can see a whole bunch of carnival wagons, as well as targets and the stars we have to hit, so I'm assuming that this is Fazer Blast. But actually, right over here, as I'm sure the first thing you saw, we got a brand new version of Rockstar Freddy, or Lefty, whichever one it is, and he looks a bit different, right? He's got blue accessories instead of the typical purple or red like Rockstar Freddy and Lefty have. He's dressed up in a very fancy green and white striped shirt with a blue bow tie, 
guys. So this is some new version of the Rockstar Freddy variants. I'm not exactly sure why they would need a brand new version of Rockstar Freddy in this in this ride. It's interesting. Like, I, I have no clue. Why is there? Why wouldn't you just use regular Rockstar Freddy? Maybe it's got something to do with the deep and juicy lore of the franchise. I'm not entirely sure. I'd love to know. What are your thoughts on this brand new Freddy? And what are we going to call him in the meantime? And actually, if you look on the Steam DB page for Help Wanted 2, you can actually find this screenshot of Funtime Freddy's level. I'm not sure why this goes unused. Maybe it's an outdated screenshot. I'm not entirely sure, but he looks absolutely terrifying reaching out for us like that. And for the final screenshots, we've already seen this one of Roxanne where you got to put on the different areas of her makeup on her face. Helpy and, and Scrap Baby inside of the uh, level where you have to like saw off Helpy's leg, which is going to be terrifying. I feel so bad for Helpy. And then also the Fun Time Freddy one. So that is all of the brand new screenshots for Help Wanted 2. Some very interesting screenshots has got me very excited. Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 is the sequel to the terrifying VR experience that brought new life to the iconic horror franchise. As a brand new Fazbear employee, you'll have to prove that you have what it takes to excel in all aspects of pizzeria management and maintenance. Release date December 14th, 2023 and only a few days time which is absolutely crazy and actually on the playstation page it does say a time 12 p.m eastern standard time so it's actually in like the middle of the day which is going to be pretty interesting though i'm sure a whole bunch of youtubers are going to get it early hey steel if you're watching this video I'd love to have it early if you if you got an extra copy. Love you. But now let's move on to the brand new description. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff to read over, so let's go through it quickly. Find out if you have what it takes to be a Fazbear Entertainment Superstar. Hey, Superstar, come join the Fazbear crew. Go backstage as a VIP to help Roxanne Wolf and the staff bots get ready for their performance in the Pizzaplex Salon. So already off the bat, we have a brand new mini game. If you recall, in the Help Wanted games, there are different segments of mini games that we can select in Help Wanted 2. Those are the backstage, the Fazcade, staff only, food prep, ticket booth, sister location. And we've already seen one of the food prep minigames with the staff bots, but going backstage as a VIP to help them get ready for their big performance in the Pizzaplex Salon, that's a brand new minigame. So there's at least two minigames featuring the staff bots. Pretty interesting. Head into the Fazcade and enjoy classic games like Bonkabon and Fazer Blast. Take care of things behind the scenes in the staff only section of the pizzeria. Deliver first aid to patients who aren't quite feeling like themselves and help animatronics perform routine diagnosis and and maintenance. So the first aid is obviously in reference to the helping minigame where we gotta help get rid of his popcorn rabies and saw off his legs. Help the animatronics perform routine diagnostics. I'd assume that's that minigame with the head the VR headset with the Glamrock endoskeletons. And also probably that one with repairing uh Glamrock Freddy where we have to boop his nose and then his mouth opens up. Our food prep courses will help you get the federally mandated amount of value preparing food in the Pizzaplex. Experience all the joys of high-speed food service and get ready to feed some hungry hungry robots. Head over to the ticket booth to test our e-ticket attractions. Ooh, we get access to e-ticket attractions. So Captain Foxy's Cowboy Adventure is like the most popular attraction. It's like the highest valued attraction and experience at the Pizzaplex apparently. On this lighthearted log ride, you'll float through the Old West as a gunslinger in search of booty. And finally, if you're short on dread, dive into the world of our sister location. These special minigames are VR versions of classic experiences from Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. These fan favorites brought to life promise to be as fun as they are terrifying. So what are you waiting for? FNAF help Wanted 2 is now accepting applications for all positions effective immediately. So these are all of the system requirements, just in case you want to pause the video, see if your device can even handle running FNAF Help Wanted 2. But that is kind of everything on the Help Wanted 2 Steam page. Brand new screenshots, like I said, the game releases at 12 p.m. EST on the 14th of December, and we will be there no matter what. Hopefully, maybe a bit early. Again, if Steel Wool, you got an early copy you want to hand over. I am so, so happy we finally got a Steam page. I thought we weren't going to get one until the launch day because Steam requires pages be up like two weeks before they come out but it's finally here we can take a deep breath the game comes out in one week's time which is absolutely crazy i cannot cannot wait to play this game so i'd love to know what are your thoughts on the steam page are you going to be picking up help wanted 2 are you just going to be watching some people play it like i said plenty of times already we are going to be playing it on this very channel so subscribe so you don't miss out on that but that's going to do it for this fnaf news video thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye